So you guys have been begging me to do this, so I went and got it out of the bin, and today, we're gonna recast it. So like I just said, today we're gonna recast the 12 month old egg that I just cut open. But before we get started, there's one thing I gotta say. These Ziploc bags are amazing. I can't smell anything. So the plan for this one is quite simple. The first thing I'm gonna do is pour some resin in this container, probably about an inch high, then I'm gonna let it set. Now once it's set, I'm gonna take the egg out and as quick as I can, get it into the container and pour resin back over the top. Hopefully I can do all that quick enough to where I don't vomit. This time I'll be wearing a mask, so hopefully that helps. For this first pour, I won't be putting it in the pressure pot. So to get rid of the bubbles, I need to degas the resin. Now I'm going to do that in my vacuum chamber. Now that we're degassed, let's pour it in. Now we'll just leave this to cure and we'll check on it later. So while that resin's curing, I've been having a look at this egg and I've got a really bad feeling that I need to clean it up a little bit. There's a lot of egg on the outside of the resin and I really wanna clean that off so we can see the resin and the other thing I want to do is have one half empty and one half full. Now the problem with having them full is I'm worried that as the resin cures, it may pull some egg out and float it around. Now that could be cool or it could look really crap. I'm not too sure. So I could seal the front with some UV resin, but it may not work either. I think the best thing for me to do is just to pull it out, clean it up, we'll have a look. If I feel like it, I may UV the front. Depends how I go. If I can hold my breath for four or five minutes, I might do that. If not, it stays as it is. So my plan here is to be in and out and leave as little mess as possible. It might be a little hard to hear me because I'm about to put the mask on, but I'll do my best. I'm gonna test this mask out with some bubble gum scent. See if I can smell it. Oh, I can smell it a little bit. This might not be good. So basically, I'm just gonna try and open this up, clean one off really good, and put it into this bag. We'll try and leave the mess in here and try and get the clean stuff in here. The mask is actually doing pretty good. I can't really smell it at all. Okay, that's one half clean. So this is the bit I'm not too sure about. I'm not sure whether to try and seal this up or just leave it. I may even just get a stick and try and compact it in a little bit more. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're cleaned up pretty good. Okay, bags are sealed. Actually doesn't smell that bad. Oh, hang on. Nah, it's not great. So now that the base layer is set, it's time to run through the next steps. I'm gonna mix up the epoxy to go over the top first and leave that to one side. Then I'm gonna get some five minute epoxy and put two little dabs on the bottom here and once it's nearly set, I'm going to rip the eggs out, put them on top so they stick, pour the epoxy on, get it in the pot, get the lid on, and hopefully the smell goes away. Now I'm not too sure how much resin I'm going to need, so I'm just going to mix up 800 mils. Before I mix up the second one, I'm just going to get the 5 minute epoxy started.
Okay, first half going in. Okay, put the lid on, keep that smell in. All right. Another step closer. I'll try and do this as slow as I can so we don't disturb the egg in there. So if I had to give a prediction as to what I think is going to happen, I reckon as the resin heats up, it may draw some of that egg out and it may start floating around. What do you think will happen? Alright, let's get it in the pot. You didn't think I'd leave out pot cam, did you? This is gonna be a fun one to watch. Before you guys check out PotCam, I just want you to know that I'm currently editing this video and I've just watched PotCam for myself. It turned out so cool. So I've let this one run a bit longer than I normally would, but you wait till you see the end result. It's so amazing. So I guess the question now is, did we get scrambled eggs? Well, I didn't expect that. Before I show you guys this, I'm going to take it out of the mould. I'm going to square up the sides. I'll give it the usual sand and polish. I might even mount it to a nice piece of wood and then we can take a look. So I was about to sand this and I realised I can't do it. Now, I really didn't want to show you till the end, but we got a fracture. Now that fracture is releasing the smell of this egg and it's not very good. So my plan is to put it back into the mold. We're gonna put some more resin in there, put it back under pressure. Hopefully the resin is forced back into that fracture and we can seal up that smell because let me tell you, it's not great. So I've just finished pouring the resin and I realised that the camera stopped recording halfway through. I now have a corrupt DAT file. Has anyone else had that on their cannons? Anyway, I poured the resin in, I tried to get it in the crack as best I could. Once the resin started going in the smell did go away so that was nice. But I had to work as quick as I could because once the resin heats up it gets thick and then once it's thick it's just not going to go in the crack. 
So it worked really fast. It looks like it's gotten in there really well. It's back in the pot now and we'll check on it later. I thought I'd give you guys a quick update. I decided to take it out of the pressure pot and put it into the vacuum chamber. Hopefully the resin gets drawn into the crack and forces the air out. So we'll just have to see how we go. One of my most commonly asked questions is why do I cure my resin under pressure and not vacuum? Well, this is the reason why. See all those bubbles? That's what happens when you put resin under vacuum and let it cure. It just foams up and that's what you get. Now the reason I let it cure under vacuum this time is because we already had our sort of base cast done. So I knew I couldn't do any harm. The goal here was to try and fill those cracks with resin and see if we could fix it. Now we're not going to know for sure until I get this out and start sanding it. So that's the next step. I don't think I can smell it. I just don't know anymore. It's almost like it's impregnated in my nose hairs. Oh well, let's start sanding and see what we got. If I do happen to expose a bit of this crack again, I'm just gonna fill it as I see it. Now that I've finished sanding and polishing, I'm going to get onto the stand. Now I'm going to keep this one really basic, but we are going to use the laser engraver. Before we take a closer look, there's one more thing I want to do. When I take a big smell of this, I can't smell any egg. But there is one person who has a better sense of smell than me, and that's my dad. Yes, yeah, see if you can smell any egg. No. All I can smell is resin. No, no egg smell? No egg smell there. Well, it looks like it passed the dad test, so let's take a look. <laughs> 